everyone welcome back to the channel i am back with another very interesting question this was recently only yesterday in an interview it was asked in a acs global interview question and one of the subscriber has sent me so in this question we have a, this swipe table okay so let's read out the problem and then we will try to solve it so we have a swipe table which keeps track of employee login and log out timings so we have employee and every day log in and log out times are there one employee can do multiple login log, log out in a day if you see okay so there are two questions one is find out time employee is spent in office on a particular day which is last log out time minus first login time so basically if you see this employee first login is at 8 o'clock and last log out is at 5 o'clock on 23rd we have other records on 24 but we have to find that each employee and day level so for this 8 and out will be 17 which will be 9 hours right so this question is straightforward we can just take minimum of time activity time that will be my uh, first login and maximum of the time that will be my log out time and i can subtract it right but second question is tricky it is saying find out how many productive he was at the office on a particular day how much productive okay so for this the problem is they are saying he might have done many swipes per day i need to find actual time spent at office so for example let's take this example again so this guy logged in at 8 logged out at 12 so four hours he spent then at one o'clock again he logged in so from 12 to 13 for one hour he was out so 13 to 17 will be four hours so four hours plus four hours eight hours he was productive that day right so this is the another column we have to drive so for each employee and day we have to drive two columns total time is spent right in office and total productive hours right total time is spent in office will be minimum maximum minus minimum which is simple but for this we have to find out how many how much time he was inside the office okay so let's solve this problem so what we will do first is for every login there will be a logout this is for sure so what i will do i will do use a lead function and get the logout time along with login time so for the, this login what is the logout time for this login what is the logout time so that i can subtract them and get the hours between them so let me do this lead lead of i need activity time comma one i lead of one okay over now this is tricky here over we have to do two things partition by partition by we have to do on employee id right because for each employee i need separate plus for each day activity day now we have activity time so we need day so i will what i will do i will cast it as date so i will remove the timestamp from here so I will say cast activity time as date so that it is done at the employee and day level. Okay. Order by activity time in ascending order as I will say logout time. Okay. I will say logout time and let me take this column separately as well. So I will say this is my activity day instead of time i will say activity day okay so let me run this and show you quickly okay so if you see for this guy login and logout time is c12 so this 12 came here right similarly for this 13 logout is 17 so this 17 came right so for each login i have the logout for each login i have the logout right for each login i have the logout so I don't need logout information anymore in separate rows. So I can remove those. I am interested only in login ones because I already got the logout information. So what I will quickly do, I will say with CT as this and I will say select star from CT where activity type equal to give me only the login okay i will do some more cleaning here so let me just run it okay so let's let's uh, keep the column names uh, right so i'll say employee id 
I need this right now activity type is not required all are login so I don't need it now activity time this is basically the login time because we have kept the login ones so I will say activity time as login time right just to be clean right and then we need activity day as well right and we need logout time so we have everything so logout time right let me take it uh, in front right so we have employee id activity day that's it right and we should be good now okay so everything looks good employee id 1 on activity day 23 right this is the login time logout time and this is again login time logout time on the same day right now there are two things we need to do we need to find the total time which is minimum of login and maximum of logout it will give me total time first swipe in and last swipe out this is basically swipe out right so if i take first login last swipe out it will give me the total time inside the office not inside basically first in last out whatever you say so what i will do i will say i need to group the data on employee id now right for each employee id for each activity date right so activity day as well right so i will do group by on this and keep these columns here now apart from this what i need to do i need to say minimum of login time so minimum of let me take it here minimum of activity time is our login time basically right and maximum of logout time if i take a difference of this it will give me total time right in the office so i will just say date diff i need date diff in hour right between minimum activity time and maximum logout time right as total hours so this is my total hours right so if i just quickly run it you see the employee id 1 for 23 total hours is 9 which is fine right which is fine now we will validate the answer later but second thing is we need to know is how much time this guy spent in office okay so let me just run it again let me just quickly remove this and let me do star okay just to give you some idea at what we are going to do so now what we need to do here we simply said minimum of activity time maximum logout time so we are doing this aggregation within date diff function so this aggregation will happen first which means for each employee and activity date he will get the minimum activity time maximum logout time and give me the date diff but for this what we need to do we need to find the time first and then aggregate so what i will do i will find the difference between these two times so it is four hours and this is again four hours so four plus four eight hours right so i will have to at row level i will have to find time separately and sum that four plus four right so the formula will be like this so i will just uh, do it again to the previous state right so i'll just take it again just just be very 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 careful so i'll remove from here this right i don't need me min max here right so this this is doing at row level activity time logout time so it will take this minus this and what is the difference take this this what is the difference we need data at employee id and activity day level so i will do some here so it will first at row level it will find the difference and then we are summing it up and let's validate the answer let me just say select star from swipe okay and let's run this okay so let me call it instead of total hours let's call it productive hours or inside hours okay let's run this again let's validate the answer so okay so let's look at the employee one so he logged in at 8 and log out last log out is 15, uh, 17 which is 9 hours right so 9 hours what is the productive hours 8 to 12 4 hours and then 17 13 to 17 4 hours total 8 hours right so this is correct 
let's look at the employee id 2 on 23rd so employee id 2 on 23rd again he has two login two logout so first is 9 and last is 15 so total 6 hours which is correct right which is correct now he worked from 9 to 11 2 hours and then 12 to 15 3 hours so total 5 hours again this is correct now for other two records the employee id 1 on 24th this is now 24th if you see activity day 24th he just logged in once and logged out once so it both will be same total hours and inside hours similarly for this employee id 2 for 24th inside hours and login hours will be same so one one okay i hope this makes sense let me know in the comment section if you have a better or easier or more intuitive solution i will put the create a statement inside a statement so feel free to uh, solve this question thank you have a good day do subscribe to the